Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hoping everybody's having a fantastic afternoon. Let's talk about semaglutide, okay? So I want to talk about that because I'm embarking in this new journey with a compound semaglutide called tisepatide, okay? And I, I did my subscription with Ample Health, okay? Thank you to Bridget. I'm going to tap Bridget. Uh, this is somebody that is an inspiration to me, a beautiful lady. Uh, she lives in Texas too. And if you want to know more about her, about her journey, okay, and about her health tips, you should see her. She has lost 150 pounds, and I saw that she was um, she was using, okay, tirsepatide, okay, Swamble Health, so I joined. Um, I have a medication here. And basically, you don't have to do the renewal scene. Basically, when you are uh, taking the injection once a week, okay? And the box is going to give you the instruction, okay? The box is going to give you the instruction. It's going to say exactly how many units you should use. You do once a week, okay? They, say, they send you as well the syringes. And a lot of things that you have to consider, okay? When you are doing semaglutide, whatever you use, okay? This one basically um, controls two sensors in your brain, okay? So it's basically not one, two, okay? As opposed to as all sampling does. Um, so far, being in, I'm finishing my second week. I'm going to be in my third one. And I can tell you, mm, I don't have, I think the day that I do the dose, my sleep cycle kind of like, a little bit then get back to Roma um, but I do when you can do any time of the day okay with food or without food so I do it I got food and then I do it um, other than that I would say you are going to right away once you get your doses in the system you're gonna figure out what uh, how certain foods okay are filling in your system okay like I can tell you right now very sugary stuff, even something like a drink, okay, like a mocha frappuccino, like for example, McDonald's has, okay, you order that. That to me, it gives me certain, it does, it's not a pleasant feeling, okay, and I know Rahway right is, I know the point that I'm gonna throw out, but I know that I have to go to bathroom, okay, so it's something that I actually am um, reducing, not taking. Um, let me see what else. I would say when you are in terspatite, okay, in semaglutide or everything, you gotta, I would say, track your intake protein and your macros, okay? So I know that I had to lose more than 100 pounds, okay? Like around 115 that I gained as a result of being in menopause, okay? And find out through lab, through lab work and everything, and finally, uh, my hormones are stable, okay? After, I would say, since the end of, beginning of 2022, I've been experimenting with different kind of HRT until finally, now I'm in Bioidentical, which is very similar in the way you produce uh, your progesterone and estrogen, estrogen, and also I take testosterone. So that being said, uh, when you're trying to figure out what's going on with your hormones, okay, during the perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause, okay, and you have this fluctuation, massive in weight gain, and there's no way that you can get rid of that weight as easier as before. Keep in mind that might be, if you are, I would say, as, as I would say like your early 30s and up, okay if you have changes in your mood okay changes uh you're having hot flashes night sweat all this stuff you gotta you gotta check your hormones okay just to see what's going on okay keep in mind that i'm 50 so i'm in full blown menopause and thank goodness i cracked the code about that because i will tell you 2021 was a shit show for me okay literally a shit show okay i never had panic attack in my life and I was having panic attack, okay? Getting isolated and everything. That's not a good feeling until I figure out what it is and then I start feeling like myself back again. 
uh, so the Wayne Gang came, okay, as a result of that. And it's very frustrating, but you gotta figure out first, okay, what's going on with you? Mine it was that, tackle that. You gotta make sure that you're working toward your sleep again, okay? So if you are drinking alcohol a lot, um, doing a lot of sugary stuff toward the evening, I will encourage that you check your diet, look into what you consume, okay? And certain uh, group food, okay? You might not, you might have to reconsider not having any in yourself. So back to where I am right now, okay? We're in 2024, I mean, uh, tisipatide, okay? Semiglutide, because I need to tackle, okay? Uh, my health and just it's a combination of exercise lifestyle I would say when you are in ice tea the the craving for snacking it just go away in my case I would say go away but losing weight is not as easy okay and you can say whatever you want but everybody is different it's not as easy so I mean there's appetite okay I know they had uh, in pills as well, another company offer you. Yeah, I mind the injection and I'm fine, okay? Um, you gotta take care of your, or your health, okay? A lot of people doesn't know that, but I do know that more than 10 years ago, uh, due to continued education and stuff like that in my hand, a healthcare provider, a licensed professional counselor with more than 24 uh, years of experience, okay? And I can tell you right now, um, diabetes, Three, okay, it's unclassified yet, okay, but it's gonna happen, okay, in the next DSM, okay. This is something that the psychiatric community, the mental health community, have been talking, including healthcare providers, okay. So keep in mind, dementia, dementia linked to diabetes is gonna be, um, it's gonna be diabetes, diabetes uh, type three. Okay, and that's gonna be dementia, which is this umbrella, Alzheimer. And it's very alarming and concerning, especially in the United States, with the rate, okay, of obesity getting to the point people that have diabetes, okay? Adults with diabetes. So I'm not sampling, I'm not in that, knocking wood, but I need to take care of myself because I wanna prevent that, certainly. Also, I don't wanna have any replacement for sure, and I want to live. I want to live a quality of life for the years to come. So I'm in that in that route. I might have a lot of criticism about that. I don't care. I just want to bring this because it's going to be my new journey. There's going to be a lot of emphasis in my channel, okay, about healthcare, lifestyle, things that are passionate me regarding that and. As a licensed professional counselor, I like to work with people in a variety, okay, of issues, especially I'm very, um, very, uh, how do you go, enthusiastic about talking about menopause, putting menopause, postmenopause, and a lot of women, because with all of these concerns, and they don't know where to start. And I open to the conversation to talk with them about this stuff, but for me at this point, the way has to has to be work, okay? I'm gonna put the work, but this is very important for me. And it's a long-term medication, okay? It's a long-term medication, you're monitored by doctors, so it's not like you are like buying um, straight and just ingest. That's not what it is. You gotta be careful when you get, okay, the medication, okay? That's one thing, but I'm happy. I was super motivate when I see the uh, the testimony of Bridget, okay? And she had PCOS. This girl have done a monumental, beautiful job, and she's stunning, okay? And she, I love her personality. She's a vibe, and I like it. So I follow her in Instagram, and also in TikTok. Please see her, uh, follow her, because it is worth it, okay, that you follow. She's very knowledgeable, okay, about different stuff, what to include, okay? But first and foremost, okay? Don't get frustrated if you don't have initially uh, consider a man of lost weight, okay? Remember, it's a journey. You didn't get 100 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, whatever it is, just overnight. This is an accumulation, okay, <laughs> of, of 
possible years, okay? So you gotta take this as a journey. Enjoy the journey, okay? Don't focus on frustration, enjoy the journey. Get to know yourself, your health, and how it react during the different stages, okay, that you're going through. Incorporate things that are healthy, but they are tasty, okay? That's one of the things that I'm eating, okay? I'm not eating things that are bland, bland no flavors, okay? I like things that have flavor, but I, because then you're gonna be more prone to eat it. The other thing is be surrounded by people, okay? Uh, the network, your family, takes a role, okay, in people, how they perceive themselves and also how they react, okay, about self-care. So if you have people around yourself, okay, let's talk for first about acquaintances, that they always make comments, oh, well, you should need a little bit this, that, that, or they always, like, they're pushing you, okay, with food, or they don't respect the word no, no is a whole answer okay people don't respect that the other thing is you have to realize people you might have people that looks like your friend they are freaking snakes so be aware of that so cut it out that people that is not friends that just they will say oh it's just a joke no they just want to see you not succeed in life okay they just want to see you fail and people a lot of people, they had the mentality that they don't want to see you better than them, which is upset, you know, abs absurd, okay? So get rid of that people. You don't need that. Even if they have been forever in your life, time to cut it off. Cut that people with family members, okay? We're married to family member. It is what it is. So in your family circle, family system, they haven't had a situation where hell was on a skirt. They might not understand your past and they might criticize you, but it's up to you to say no, even if they get anger. Listen, people have two choices, especially adults. They can be anger and on anger, okay? Encojonarse is encojonarse. So let it be. Remember, when there's changes, secondary changes within a family system, there's gonna be resistance, but after that, gonna go down so just keep in mind that okay so go to the word out there I will keep you in the loop about an update about this process I'm super excited it's about time I owe to myself taking care of myself because let me tell you something in the family circles and with our friends it's not that they do intentionally but Sometimes they require more attention and then you put behind your health. It's time for you to prioritize yourself no matter what they say. Because you don't take care of yourself, nobody else is going to do it. Okay? So go to the world out there. Kicking ass. Be blessed. Be bold. Take calculated, calcul calculated risk. Okay? And do what makes you feel good. It doesn't matter what people are opinion in social media. You're going to do you. Okay? Do you. You owe that to yourself. Blessing everybody. Bye-bye.